Hi there folks, Gareth here from Mobile Tech Addicts, tracyamat.co.uk and for unboxings.com and I've been sent this by the nice little people over at Microsoft. And we have a little piece of cake, which is lemon sponge. Sorry for not making it to the Lumia 640 birthday party last week. So we've sent you a Lumia 640 birthday party last week. So we've sent you a Lumia sponge cake. And yeah, we'll enjoy that in the garden later on today. Okay, so this is the Lumia 640. A rather swanky looking uh, budget phone from Microsoft. Not a Nokia, but a Lumia, which is quite nice. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the box. We've got the blue version, blue variant on the front, orange here, white here. Obviously those are the three colors it's available in. LTE on the back, goes the other way around. Uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, QR code for all your curiosities, Windows, just a few bits and bobs, but the actual phone itself, not too much to reveal. And it's a slide out box effect, I haven't seen one of those in a wee while. Okay, and that is the device. Quite looking forward to having a look at it, because I haven't used a Windows phone, oh, in a long time actually, I've been stuck with Android and Android unboxings for quite some time. Also inside the box, we have a power adapter. And that's it. Aside from a quick guide, which I'll probably need to use because it's been that long since I've used Windows Phone. Okay, the power adapter. Looks a bit peculiar. At least to me. It's a rather interesting little clip there that goes into the actual adapter itself and a micro USB on the far end okay that's that's it not too much in the box not too much to report a little bit, little bit of protective plastic around the device but here is the device and instantly I like it okay it is quite plasticky on the back rather plasticky however it does feel very very solid not too heavy obviously the battery is inside it but sealed in so that's the battery weight included and it's it's a decent size it's a decent feel it's a decent build yeah okay I'm, I'm quite impressed with it excuse the dirty fingers I was working in the garden it is a glorious day outside after all so here we have on the front there's a forward-facing camera there's a, a small Microsoft there. It's it's not easy to see. Well, I suppose you, you can't see it in most light, but it's not glaring you in the face. It's quite nice, actually. And uh, obviously they moved from a 4.5-inch screen to a, a full 5-inch screen without increasing the size too much. Then we have a bar across the bottom here, and there's a small hole there for a microphone. This side has very little on it. In fact, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. On the bottom we have the USB connector charger. Uh, then we have some protective bits of plastic there. There we go. Looking a little better now. That must be a power uh, button and then volume up and down. On the top here, nothing but a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's that's quite nice. There's there's very little to interrupt you around the device. It, unbroken surfaces and things, so to speak. So then we have an illustration here. I'm I'm guessing that shows the person ripping the back off. It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Well, we're going to have a go. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? And it says Microsoft there in slightly more recognizable writing. There's a small hole here. Not entirely sure what that's for, but maybe it's just for the speaker in behind there. And that's usually what goes there. If it is, it's nice to have a little bit of a change rather than your standard grill. Is an eight megapixel camera. 
suppose it's worth pointing out that's a 0.9 megapixel camera on the front there. It's not even one. Okay, ah, we can. All right, I haven't broken the phone then. Interchangeable backs, which is quite nice. That means you'll be able to go and buy yourself a, <clears throat> a different color back if you prefer. Some foam there. Doesn't look to have any NFC built into that cover. Okay, so there is a removable battery. SIM card, micro SD card, camera, and that's the speaker there, rather large for the small hole. Okay, all right, well, let's get this thing turned on and looked at. A bit of a vibration there as it turns on. Okay, sorry about the cut to there. Um, my computer decided to make a large amount of noise, but I haven't touched anything since turning it on. All right, okay, so we're going to go with English, United Kingdom. Same card error. Because we haven't put one in, except that I do have one. Yeah, I do. Okay, uh, connect to the local network. Okay, that's been done. We'll hit next. Wi-Fi Sense. Save on mobile data usage using Wi-Fi Sense. Join in, get connected to Wi-Fi. Yep, okay. Choose your phone settings. We'll go with the recommended ones. Uh, we're in the United Kingdom. Today's date. Oh, that's a tough question. I always ask these tough questions. It's the 18th of April. Okay, we'll just sign into our Microsoft account. While that's doing that, I'll give you a quick rundown of the specifications. Uh, it's got an 8 megapixel camera. There's one gigabyte of RAM in here. Oh, what's wrong now? We're having trouble signing in. Try, uh, try again. You haven't asked me for any details. Okay, there's one gigabyte of RAM inside. There's a Qualcomm 1.2 gigahertz Core uh, Cortex. Uh, it's a Snapdragon 400 uh, processor that's in here, which you know it's a bit of an older chipset. That's that's to be said. However, this is a 120 pound device, so you're hardly going to expect to find the latest and greatest of Qualcomm inside. The uh, the phone itself is obviously an upgrade to the 635, which was debatably an upgrade to the 630. I know a lot of people uh, preferred the 630 over the 635, and there's quite a lot of videos on YouTube and things like that with reasons why they uh, they never went for an upgrade to anything higher than this, or to the 635. So the 640 sh certainly has to impress, and from... Uh, from the outset of the specifications, it obviously does have a considerable upgrade inside it, um, especially with this uh, bigger screen, which, to be honest, is is quite nice at the moment. It, you can't make well. Obviously, we're on white on black here, but there's there's not too much in it when it comes to the pixels or anything. But uh, whenever it comes to Whenever it finishes doing what it's doing, actually, we'll get some uh, high-res images up and take some pictures around the garden and stuff like that and have a look and see how it looks. So it's actually been a few minutes since uh, this started happening and it's uh, still going. I'm getting a little bored watching it, to be honest. I could go over some more of the specs because it appears we have time. It's a uh, Gorilla Glass on the front here. Then, of course, there is a... Uh, it's a 720 by 1280 screen resolution with uh, IPS LCD uh, capacitive touchscreen on there. We're running the latest version of Windows 8.1 with uh, Lumia Denim on it, it's called. It's the latest update. There's 8 gigabytes of internal storage, which seems to be standard with this kind of level of uh, hardware at this price tag now, which is mostly welcome. On, I know on Android devices it very much needs 8 gigabytes, otherwise you're just uh, having to uninstall everything on a daily basis and put it all back on again whenever you want to use something. The camera shoots at uh, 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second, which is quite nice on here. I know some people were a bit let down that some of them didn't do uh, 
I mean, even 720 was a bit of a challenge on some, but um, most of them were limited 720. This one has 1080 out of the box. Okay, look, it says next. Wow, we can continue on. Almost done. Okay. All right, so there we have our live tiles. All looks very nice. Uh, looks uh, quite different to the last time I used it. I was trying to think there how long it's been, and I think it was uh, Windows Phone 7 was the last time I had a Windows Phone in my possession. So this one, it didn't ask me for any setup details, which is a bit concerning. Um, so I'll maybe have a quick look and see if I can get it set up for that. In, in the meantime, uh, we'll jump into a few things. I'm not sure how much we'll be able to do here without it asking me to jump or to log into anything. So you have your contacts at the top there, uh, smaller live tiles for certain things. Oh, the, the phone isn't working. Uh, text message there, which is Windows Phone welcoming me back. Hello, it's time to get the most from your new Windows Phone. Oh no, that's not the whole message. I have to tap on it to get the the rest of it. Uh, go there. If you're coming from another Windows phone, go to switch to move stuff over. This is a free message. Isn't that nice? Okay, so Facebook right up there. Cortana there. to sign in and uh, this comes with um, office 365 uh, a full year's worth which has a terabyte of storage although it did notice in the specs that it actually said that it comes with 30 gigabytes of OneDrive as well so I don't know what the difference is there all right uh, just to be in a real annoyance it has to verify my email address yes uh, we'll back everything up I'm absorbing the entire internet. This won't take long. Would you like... Skip that. Okay, uh, cooking something. I never cook. Going out. Hanging out with friends. I can tick more if you want. Is that, is that all I can take? Can I take that away? Can I take, I can take something else. Pick two. Oh, right, okay. Um, oh, uh, working on my projects. I do that quite a lot. Uh, hanging out with friends, spending time with family. I've been doing that more so than hanging out with friends. Okay, so we'll hit next. Uh, when you think of food, what is the most important, to, or what is most important to you? What's healthiness? What's most delicious? What's least expensive? What's easiest? Oh, I didn't expect this. Uh, level of quality and what's most delicious, right? Beep and oh my word! Oh, I can pick more than two this time. Seeking adventure, fair enough. Okay. Oops. Wake me up in 20 minutes. Wake me up in 20 minutes. Okay, I've set you an alarm for 5.25 p.m. Who is better, Siri or Cortana? Not to brag, but apparently I'm going to help save the universe in about 500 years. Um, okay. All right, uh, we hit the menu Windows button and we bring up the live tiles. 
store will probably require login. No? Okay. This is obviously the one feature that Windows Phone is still falling down on. However, they are making leaps and bounds to catch up with the rest. I guess it's just down to developers uh, picking an order in which to release things. iPhone, Android, then Windows Phone. Things will eventually come. Okay, news. This will be catered from uh, MSN News app. Okay. I can feel a good bit of heat coming off the back of the phone right now. Royal Navy Sailors. Oh, that sounds charming. Okay, uh, there's the, the news. And, uh, it's death and destruction everywhere. It's the same as normal. Lumia hints and tips. Very handy. Especially for me, because I'm so used to Android these days. I'm welcoming through stuff. Yeah, go on then. There's a hot chick in a bikini. Always better for a phone. I'm liking it more so. Getting started. Transfer my data, data sense, storage sense, and settings. The camera. Well, we've got a bit of a sponge cake going on here. We can take some pictures. Living images. See your images come to life with the Lumia camera and Lumia Storyteller. Well, let's turn it on. Why not? Okay, location using... Oh, it's just location settings. Yeah, okay. Right, we'll take a picture of this lemon cake. Try and get it as close as possible there. Oh! I missed the button, did I? No, I hit the win the window, the menu button, right? Okay, that's fairly close. Right, uh, to go back and review those, we'll have a look at the gallery. Navbar is always available, just flip up from the bottom of the screen to show it, just like on Palm. There we go. And we'll fire in and have a Closer look to see what kind of level of detail we get here. Yeah, you can make out quite a bit of um, detail right down to the actual texture of the box. Oh, it's one of these uh, captures three seconds in and around whenever you're taking the picture. So it's actually a video. It's a freeze frame from a video. It's not the clearest, but then that was the first picture I took. Uh, no, I think that seems okay. It's it's kind of a nice feature to throw into a a lower end phone, having the the three seconds there. What three second picture? Okay, so that's one drive. It's opening up all my. Gunk on OneDrive, not that I have very much there. Skype built in Sport, which I'm guessing is another news aggregation tool, which links to MSN Sport. And there's an update to it. Or is that an update to the whole thing? No, it's just an update to. Okay, that's the sports center. Uh, Fitbit, I don't have one knocking around. Game Loft Hub, providing games and stuff. We have all kinds of games, I suppose. Yep, typical array of Game Loft games. Uh, even Android devices have that usually installed. I think we saw it in the last unboxing with the Arcos. Mix Radio, which is very, very popular, and I believe it's now coming to Android too. There's a, a beta out there which people can play with. Mix Radio being a an interesting song skipping tool that uh, allows you to fire around and listen to all kinds of different stuff, and you can, but you can only skip songs once or twice in a day or something like that, or ten times in a day. 
search for an artist. Uh, let's see, we'll go with the Pixies because I was listening to them earlier today. There we go. We'll grab those guys and play me. And because I like the Pixies, it's recommending Weezer. Okay, a Jefferson Airplane, All right. <laughs> so there is good volume off the phone provided you don't set it down on a flat surface or like this leather here um, obviously you could set it down face up which would play a lot, but th there's a uh, good sound off that speaker there. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Very nice. Well done, Microsoft, on that front. Uh, Mix Radio Calendar. I thought you should access calendars. Right, okay, yep. Uh, music and videos. Obviously, Microsoft have a large, it used to be called the Zoom video, our music library. So we'll have a look and see what this does here. Got that real Xbox feel to it, Xbox music. Uh, how to add your music, music store. Fair enough. Uh, video is the same as Xbox video, then I'm. Oops, sorry. I'm guessing, there we go. Uh, TV store, browse TV, movies, all that kind of stuff. And podcasts as well. Oh, why not? A bit of self-promotion. Let's see if it's here. Mobile. And if it's not here, I'll just cut this bit out. How lovely. You're listening to the Mobile Tech Addict Show. I'm your host, Gareth Miles, and this week I'm joined by Jay Garrett... Yes, I know I said the speaker was uh, very, very good there, but there's a heck of a lot of vibration off it there. I really felt it coming through. Maybe it was my uh, my luscious Northern Ireland lilt, perhaps, but uh, yeah, there, there was a, quite a considerable amount of vibration coming off the bottom of the phone. I guess that means it's the speaker's just so damn good. And there is the list of all the main apps that are here. Obviously, here, uh, here Maps and Here Drive are uh, two very, very popular applications. That requires sign in. I'll do that some other time. Lumia Beamer. This is an easy way to show your phone screen to another screen. Okay, so that is just a sharing, screen sharing. Yep, uh, handy to have. Most phones can, can do that now, whether it be through Chromecast or uh, AirPlay or some, some shape or form. Uh, money, music, messaging, mixed radio, Office. Now, Office is the Office 365. We should be able to redeem something here. Settings for your Office 365. Okay. Email address. Oop. And that didn't work at all. Yeah. Right. Uh, OneNote, one of Microsoft's most popular and uh, best suites that they offer. It, it does look lovely on the screen. It, it the screen is very very nice. It's uh, it's very bright. Obviously, Windows Phone design itself complements it very well. Whereas, you know, if this was a Samsung device, you'd probably have a wild amount of uh, pinks and greens and things like that, really pushing the colours of the screen. But this is these are subtle colours, and they look very bright and elegant. 
uh, as they're displayed on here. I, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the, the colours of the phone without having to push too hard to force the colours <laughs> onto the phone. So if I have a look at photographs, um, there, there's no stock photographs here, is there? No, there isn't. They don't even do that. Okay. Settings, Skype, Sport, Storage, Sense, Store, Transfer My Data, Travel, Video, Wallet and Weather. Which again is a link to the MSN products. Well, there you go. Well, that's a that's a brief look around the uh, the Microsoft Lumia 640, and we got the time as a screensaver on the front after turning the screen off. It's a, it is a nice device. It's quite thick. Um, I can compare it to my Note, which is far far away. It's a little plasticky, maybe. But then it's 120 pounds. If I was considering very much changing to a more budgety phone, then this is something that I would easily look at. This is going up against the Moto G and the Huawei 4X. They are in the same price bracket as this. Oh, restart required. Well, obviously, there is a, a very large difference in the two because this is running Windows Phone, the others are running Android. And it all boils down to that, as to whether or not you prefer Windows Phone or you, you prefer Android. If it is Android, or if it is Windows Phone, then this is easily one of the best phones to recommend uh, out of the, the budget grouping because it is direct from Microsoft. And the speed that that put up there was was particularly noticeable. It was very, very good. The uh, the Lumia line is uh, is always one of the the better lines of the Windows Phone. Some other manufacturers tend to have a dabble with it and then leave it. Maybe it's just easier for manufacturers to work with Android on a phone as opposed to having to jump through any loopholes that Microsoft might be doing. As it stands, this is a nice device. It is. It's a lovely device at 120 pounds. It's something worth considering, very much so. I like it. I like the presentation. I like the box. I, I like the sponge cake. It's also so very, very nice. And it's worth uh, worth looking at if you're going to be changing uh, at any point in the near future. So, yes, nice one, Microsoft. Uh, you've, you've done a better update to the, uh, the 630 than the 635. And we look forward to seeing the 640 XL at some point in the future. And I believe there's a 540 coming alongside a 430. So uh, we should see a, a, a decent selection of uh, low-end Lumia devices uh, for for people to take their pickings from. It's There's no shortage of uh, of Lumias at the moment. And, and kudos to Microsoft for, for basically covering every aspect that someone could want whenever it comes to phones, whether they're being picky about price or picky about screen size, Microsoft look, look to be having it covered. So check in uh, soon enough. We'll have another unboxing for you uh, fairly soon. And remember to watch the Mobile Tech Addict show, usually on a Wednesday night at about half past eight. We broadcast live or you can catch up with it on YouTube or download the podcast where we'll be discussing this at length more so. OK, take care now.